Hello there, I am Giant Girl with, Yugi with more Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards for the Game Boy Advance. In the last part, we took on, we dueled Maya Valentine at the building, and she was threatening to get, to take a locator card from Joey. And, uh, also we did, um, we, uh, battled, uh, we dueled uh, the Mime in the Park, which was really creepy. Well, we battled him at the, uh, bridge area, I think. So, yeah, um, I'm having to do post-commentary because I, like, I, I imported my commentary track for this part into Sony Vegas, but then it didn't, like, it showed testing, it showed me, like, doing the testing, 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 and it stopped. I must have muted my microphone for this episode part, which kind of stinks. So I'm going to have to do post-commentary, and <laughs> I haven't done post-commentary in a long time. And I've edited it further after this point in the game for future parts, and, like, the commentary there was perfectly fine. I don't remember muting my microphone at all. But yeah, we were, we were in Clock Tower Square. Now we have to go to the bridge, I'm guessing. I'm just gonna guess, because I'm watching the video as I'm um, post-commentating here. I always do live commentary, because I guess get my best reactions and stuff, and it's I can do it as I'm recording, and it's way really nice, so I don't have to do post-commentary after I import the video into Sony Vegas. Which is a lot easier, I like it more, you know, but for some reason I'm muting my microphone, so now we're in the building. Okay, we go upstairs. Okay, we, well, we think we're gonna talk to Joey Wheeler, I remember recording this, actually, because I did record it. I just didn't record the commentary properly. Okay, so... <laughs> sorry, I have a little cough. <laughs> Joey says, Yo, Steven, what are you doing here? Uh, dueling? Hey, oh yeah, hanging in, huh? So how many cards did you get? What, you collected that many already? <laughs> He's all shocked. Yeah. He's like, oh man, I better... Uh, why does it take me so long to um, press A here? Okay, there we go. Uh oh, I'm lagging then. I shouldn't be wasting my time here. I better go find some dual partners and hurry. In a hurry. Okay, yeah, you better, Joseph. Hey, I'm out here. Go for it. And he walks right through me, bud. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's all I wanted to show here, actually. I wanted to go to the next area, which I forgot what the area was going to be, but I know a new area. Or the aquarium, yeah. Oh, yeah, we take on the aquarium in this part, yeah. Okay. Okay, so I, um, I'm, I think I'm doing a deck edit here real quick. I, right here. So, um, yeah. Pretty cool. Um, I organized it by attack again like I usually do, which is nice. I'm all going. I'm going down to my my weakest cards. I think I put one Larvis back in my trunk here. Yeah, I did that. Okay, cool. Wait, no, I didn't do that because I still don't see my deck forty out forty. Okay. So yeah, um, Witch's Apprentice. I kind of want to keep that because it powers up dark type summons or dark summons monsters. I think about it, I guess, but I'm not gonna remove it from my deck. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, and yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, yeah. Twin long rides, I pass through. Yeah, I want to keep twin long rides for now. Oh, I, I um, removed, put two cards back in my trunk and added another word of D. Dang, I didn't pay attention to what card I deposited though, or put away. I tried to think about Mr. Course, man. Two, yeah, two word of Ds, I believe. And I'm down to 39 cards. I can add one more card to my deck. And I like a Master Course because it's only, and it doesn't even take a monster to sacrifice to summon it, which is really nice. It has 1300 attack, so that's why I like having multiple in my deck. Same with the Lord of Deed, it has like 1200 attack and doesn't need summons, sacrifice to summon. I think I'm looking at the cost, like, we could, um, Mystic Horseman was like 195 cost, I think, and then I think the Lord of Deed was a lower. So I'm, I'm pondering right here, I'm pondering. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I love having a revival gem in my deck. It's awesome. Wait, I think I have to make a room for it because I'm over deck capacity here. Yeah. So I have to put one Mr. Questman back in my trunk. I get the message that I need deck 40 cards in my deck. So I go back to my trunk. And I'm looking for like a weaker card, I think, right here. So I can. Um, one less, less low cost, I guess, because I have such a little deck capacity left now, right now. So, yeah. Interesting. I can't have three war IDs, which makes me sad right here. Also, a hero, yeah. I kind of want to keep that. Yeah, but a lot of pondering right here. A lot, a lot of pondering. Okay, yeah. Yeah, uh, Wicked Wimby. Yeah, that's 161 cost. That's, that's making, yeah, it's, I'm over deck capacity again right here. I want to add a Hypeo lady, but I'm going to have to make him for that later. I think I'll make him for it later in the LP. Let's play. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> okay, I put 
I have two loaded in my deck now, and I'm trying to look for a weaker card thing with like uh, weak, uh, with um, low cost. And I think about Mask of Darkness, but that's not gonna work. And yeah, everything's over my deck passive really, basically. Oh man, I'm gonna have to look down. Yeah, there we go. Skull Seven, I guess. Yeah, two. Okay, uh, Frog of the Jam. Yeah, I don't know. I'm still looking for one more card, apparently. Cause Frog of the Jam will have to do. <laughs> okay, with all that said, we can move on. Yay. Yeah, so I still right here that I have like 2,400, 2,405 20, deck capacity or something like that. Yeah, that's all I could read there. <laughs> Always White Dragon, yeah. Think about that. And finally, we get into a duel, I guess. If I can talk to this guy. Yeah, there we go. Quite huh? Um, I don't know if I'm going to find any duelists here. Didn't? Okay. And then I, I press R right here and duel him, actually. Oh, you're a duelist? Well, it must be dumb. Des it's need to meet here. Okay. Well, the cram is pretty cool. Let's have a duel. Okay. So I think I put Judge Man up for Anthe, if I would have guessed. Um, yeah, I'm right. Okay. Judge, yeah. He's a Anthe. Okay. Cool. It's my turn first. Okay. So I got door. I got a pretty good hand here, except for the house magic card. I hate that card. You know, I'm gonna have to, I'm removing him from my deck later, just so you guys know, so it doesn't take up one card space. Because it's, I don't think it, I've used it, have it had its effect being used. It's a water terrain, so yeah, keep that in mind. Doran doesn't get powered up though, but I use Doran's effect there, and I'll end my turn there. He puts, oh great, I remember this duel. He has a 100, 1170 attack monster on the field. And then I have one more Doran. I could sacrifice to summon, which I think that's my best bet if I did the, an actual recording. And I did, okay, cool. I think I'm still in a Little Wizard, there we go, Little Wizard's cool. And then I'm gonna beat that card. <laughs> Nice. And tech. I get a little bit of life when damage on him, but not much. Oh my gosh, I've, Aqua, I, I, was, I was so afraid of Aqua Snake because that, that thing's really powerful and you saw right there, took out my um, uh, Neo, Leo Wizard. But um, yeah, I got Oscula here number two, which automatically beats any water summon, so that's awesome. Puts a card in defense. I got Dark Hole right there. I'm going to put down my field from my Magic Trap field side of my field. Yeah, I did poor, poor um, explain with that, but that's okay. I put Livers in defense. And, oh, first I summon Livers and put it in defense mode. And then also hero number two is going to take out that water summon monster. Yay! I'll my turn there. Okay, cool. Um, Root Water. Oh my gosh. He has so many good um, water type summons or water summons. But I think it's also because he gets a boost in this terrain with all his water summon cards. It's just like, man, single tribute is needed, okay. I think I uh, sacrifice uh, Oscar here number two for, um, never mind, I thought I did, okay. I thought it would, uh, well, I guess, uh, it, you know, Oscar here number two can already take out any water summon from um, this guy, so it's not that big of a deal. Okay, cool, yeah. I ponder here for a second, I guess, because I'm not making any really moves. I'm thinking. I got Blue Eyes, and then I got another card, and then I got um, that Snail Thunder Summon guy. I don't even know the name. Yeah. Last away from another point, I just discard that because like, I'm not going to use it. Oh, yeah. Um, I thought I was going to use my... um. I thought I was going to use my work, um, Dark Hole card and use that little trick. But then again, Oscar's number two is like, if I don't like a champ, you can take out any Water Summon, which is nice in this duel. And I've pretty much for the whole aquarium area, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, I take out that card. I put um that card in defense. I don't know the name of it yet. Uh, which is a print. Ah, uh, man. Okay, I could power up Dark Time Summons, but right now, I just want to take out his cards and beat him in this duel. I use Revival Jam. Uh, summon Revival Jam and use its effect. Split into two, which is awesome. And, yeah. I think I can just use Ossipio awesome number two and get rid of that one card on his uh, field. And then, um, I can use, um, I can get 3,000 life points of damage with two, my two revival gems because they both 1,500 attack. Wait, they even get a boost. That's 19, 1,950, I think, as I saw right there. Nice. Uh, yeah, I use Mercury and then get my life points, get restored by 200. Awesome. So, yeah. I think I'm going to hit the attack with the Ossipio number two again because I'm pretty sure that's a water summon right here. Yeah, there we go. I was pondering there again. I was wondering. I was sinking. Uh, um, and then I can almost forgot to um, attack with my Bible of James. So let me do that, yeah. 
and he's down to 3660 life points now. It's his turn again. Puts another card face down in defense mode. So I'm guessing that's another water summon because he has his deck is full of water summons. I got the dark energy summon because I fiend. I summon a fiend monster. I'm able to summon a sea fiend monster. I can boost its power attack by 500 points. And I read the description again just to make sure I guess. That's why I did that. <laughs> Maybe I forgot what that card did at the time, but I know now. <laughs> okay, so I think I finally attribute. Yeah, also heal number. Oh, never mind. I'm still attacking. Okay. Well, it does. Again, also he has, has been taking out most of his cards in this duel anyway, so why like sacrifice him if he's doing his job? I uh, sacrificed both my other gems to get blue eyes out there. Get a big chunk on his um you know life points, which is pretty cool. And he puts another card face down in defense mode, it's my turn, I'm thinking here. And then I just take out that and then yeah, that's pretty much the end of the duel. Blue eyes finishes it off. Yeah, he's out of life points. Um my deck capacity increased by five, six hundred and fifty domino was obtained, sword hunter was obtained. It's a pretty good card, I think it's an earth summon. If I would guess, if I can press A and C, <laughs> yeah, it's an Earth Summon. Yeah, I, I, uh, yeah, I think I add at least one of these to my deck later on. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I read the description, and everything. Um, type is Warrior, Summon is Earth. It costs is 16, which is very low. And then yeah, I just, I guess I just skipped the description and everything else. Oh, that's good. You. Oh, that's good. You. <laughs> You've got some awful good, awfully good cards or something. Uh, yeah. I missed part, some of the dialogue there because I was clicking too fast, or maybe I was really fast when I a live, did a live commentary for this episode, or part, part, I mean, yeah, I go through another deck edit, yeah. Let's see, I have seven deck capacity right now to work with, so that's really nothing I can really do. Um, I can uh, probably just remove one card and get put Sword Hunter in there, I think that's what I'm going to do here. So that's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, I, I remove a card. I forget what it is, though. I removed. Oh, uh, no, I have 40 cards again. Okay. I don't, I don't think I need... Okay, never mind. I'm just saying what I do. Um... I... I don't know. What card am, what card am I gonna remove? What card am I gonna remove? Going to remove it. It's proper grammar, actually. So, yeah, I look at... <sighs> my weaker cards. Hmm, so much to think about. So much to think about. Yeah. Um... I think I may have had to edit this out or something, but I don't know. I'll have to see. I'm just deep in thought. I moved another card. I didn't see who that was, though. And I had Sword Hunter, which is enough for my deck capacity, so that's like, that's what I want. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm tired. Okay. Cool. Uh huh. I do like, um, like, you like, you, I like, I am totally strong. You say totally and like a lot in your dialogue. So we take on this duelist, and I think. She may have given me trouble. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Okay, I, I got bear trap at least. 12, oh man. Am I supposed to be a monster with 1,235 attack? I also have a really good card. Oh wait, I do have also here number two. <laughs> I um, do bear trap and the Ma Mary Curry or whatever. I get 200 life points restored. Take out that card. Okay, that's a good start. And he puts, she puts another card down, face down in defense mode. Um, I might, I might put, yeah, I put Penguin Soldier out there, okay. Okay. Well, I have could have done 50, 50 more attack or direct life points damage, but that's okay. Oh, man. Yeah, that trap card got rid of Penguin Soldier, so that's, I guess, a good thing, because uh, I didn't put Wyvis out there then, because he's a more powerful card. The better defense, too. So, yeah, now I put Wyvis out there. But his, I put him in defense mode, though, and then he attack with Aussie Hood number two. And I'll end my turn there, yeah. Okay, cool. Bear trap, yes. Yep, that water element card, or whatever, will disappear. Now I get a free crack out of life points. Um, yeah. Let's just, um, yeah. Let's just attack our life points directly. There we go. That's her turn again, and, uh, yeah, that. That did some dark damage to life points because my Wyvis's defense was higher, I think, so that's why 
that happened. And, um, yeah, tribute, a tribute, why best to track by seven to put it to get in Wheel Wizard, I guess, so Sky Dragon, actually, yeah. Okay. And attack his life points, or attack her life points directly, and then again with 900 life points of direct damage. It's pretty cool. Yep. There we go. It's my turn again, apparently. Yeah. This guy, this guy dragon just totally takes that button chunk, and then I finish her off like that. Cool. Dough victory, your dust capacity increased by 5. 467 domino was obtained. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, Ancient li Lizard Warrior was obtained. So, uh, this is a pretty good card. I don't I don't think I'm going to put this in my deck, though. So, yeah. Um, type is Reptile, Summon is Water, Cost is 161. Ancient Lizard Warrior is the name. 1400 attack, 1100 defense. A Lizard Warrior that appears as it... Oh, man, I'm buying on my dialogue. Okay, surprisingly enough, it is stronger than it looks. Okay, cool. Yep, that's pretty cool. It's level 4 monster too. Water summon, yeah I already said that, okay cool. And it takes me a long time to press the B button here apparently. Okay, what I lost? Tesseshi, this kid's like being a total jerk. Okay, I think that's her boyfriend or something. Can you just shred him with your deck baby? <laughs> okay, let's duel him. If I press R or something, you know. Oh, I, do, I make another deck edit, apparently. I do that after, like, every duel. <laughs> Sorry, I have a cough. Cough. Like, coughing. I don't like when I cough. Uh, I'm gonna pay you back double punk. <laughs> right. Uh, prepare to take a licking. I prefer not to, but okay. <laughs> okay. He's, he's, this couple is a weird couple sometimes. Uh, dialogue, at least, you know. Their dialogue's kind of weird. Okay, so I think I put Judgment up for Auntie again. Uh, no, um, mystical. No, no. Uh, okay, judgment. Yes. Okay. Cool. And then water terrain, which is not fun. Um, since I'm going first, I think I use scoundrels. I summon scoundrel, but use its effect to draw a card. I could be wrong. Uh, I use scoundrel always. Tr tr uh, yeah, I do like. I do that. Yeah. So I draw one card. I got dark magician in that draw. Okay. That's cool. And I'll end my turn there. Yeah. I think he'll be someone, yeah, another powerful um, powerful monster that can take out Skellinger, which kind of sucks. I have two Void of Deeds in my hand, and, um, um, I don't even know what that card is. Um, if I can Ward a D, yeah, I'm going to summon Ward a D, put it in defense mode, yeah. Okay, yeah, the Ward of Deeds goes bye-bye, okay. So I might struggle, I think I'm struggling with this duel at first, because I remember struggling with this one, because he kept on you know, taking out my cards and attacking my life points directly, which wasn't fun. I put my other word deep defense mode, because that's all I can do. I can't beat a monster that's 1300 attack like that one. Yeah, like the one I'm talking about. Two of them, actually. Because I can't sacrifice to summon if my cards don't survive for the next turn, you know? Uh, Blue Eyes, Dark Magician, what, uh, Last Wipe from Another Planet, and something else. Those are all cards I need to sacrifice to summon, which kind of stinks. At least one sacrifice to summon, so I'm a, I don't have any defense for this next, for this, my turn. I can't put up any defenses. So I discard, um, last way from another plan, I guess, and in my turn. Oh my gosh. I think I'm, yeah, I'm probably gonna lose this duel. I have 130 life points, and I lost the duel. Oh man, that stinks, you know? It really stinks. So I step back at my house and go all the way back to the aquarium, basically. Yeah, it's fun. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This this part there is kind of hard because you know the water terrain boosts up many water mo summon monsters. You know, I'm gonna have to battle to or duel to to Taseshi again or Taseshi. I don't even know how to pronounce that name. <laughs> okay, so I put up for an, I think another Judge Man because I still have four left. Yeah, that's what I did. Okay, cool, nice. It's his turn. Okay, um, I got bear, oh bear trap and pot agree. Cool, that's what I saw. Uh, 1170, okay. Um, bear trap. And then I do pot of green next, right? So I can draw two cards in my deck. Hopefully it's good stuff. Um, good monster. Skeletal and Doran, okay. I think it is Doran's effect here, or Skeletal's. So I think I might use Skeletal's to summon and then use, use Skeletal's effect. I could be wrong. Yeah, okay. Do I use this effect though, or just end my turn? Okay, I use this effect, cool. So I got draw another card from my deck. And it's a dark hole. Okay, that'll come in handy later, I think. I'm hoping. 
I don't remember exactly if I used that dark hole or not in this duel. Uh, yeah, um, bear trap, okay. Yeah, I think he used a door on it and my bear trap took out his door on or something. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I think what I do is I sacrifice skeleton, tribute skeleton or sacrifice, and then get, um, my, the card on the far right, I forget the name, Morphine, yeah. And then I use, um, dark energy right here, hopefully. Yeah, Dark Energy was activated. I powered up the monster, and now Morphine has 2,050 attack, which is pretty cool. And I attack at the face down card. Yeah, it's only 800 attack monsters, so that's good. And she puts another card, or he puts another card face down defense mode, so that's cool, I guess. And I draw a Lord of D, awesome. So I can um, attack with um, Morphine, and then um, attack a life once too with Dorian. With Dor uh, not with Dorian, Lord of D, Lord of Dragons. Okay, he puts another card face down in defense mode. And then I got Revival Gem there, so I think I'm going to use Revival Gem's effect here. Yeah, it's, I was pretty much hoping for that. Use this effect, split into two. And I use Morphine to, um... I can't summon any more cards. I use Morphine to attack that first card down, right? And I only use uh, Warrior D, so that way Morphine can get a whole bunch, a big amount of um, life points uh, damage on... Tatashi or whatever his name is. Okay, so my turn again. He puts another card face down um, in defense mode. I draw. I think I'm gonna do a door. I think I do a single door, and I can't use this effect because I don't have two spaces on my um, field for monsters. So that kind of stinks, but that's okay. Um, my Vo gem. Oh yeah, my Vo gem gets a boost. So that's 1,950 attack for both of them. That's pretty cool because the terrain. Door will disappear. Dang it. Well, that's not my. That's my. That's not really that hard. To, um swallow, you know, I can swallow that easily, because <laughs> Doran, you know, was my only 900 attack monster on the field at the time, and I won. Okay, 404 domino was attained, I think uh, I got 5 deck capacity increased, and then I got another one of the short hunters, so that's pretty cool. Ugh, I lost. Really, really, Takeshi? <laughs> You're seriously, he's seriously strong. And <laughs> they just leave it at that. I think I'd go uh, make another deck edit, okay? I don't know why I'm doing another deck edit. Maybe because I want another sword hunter in my deck, but I'm... Looking back at this, I really don't need two sword hunters in my deck, but we'll see. We'll see what I do here. What I do here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay, and that's ni that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Just checking with the commentary still recording. Okay. Um. Yeah, we're still editing the, our deck here or my deck. I'm still editing my deck. So for this guy, okay, that, that's for later on, of course. I look at all, like all my cards for some reason, or all the possible cards I don't even have. <laughs> some of them I don't even have. A lot of them I don't even have. So we're gonna have to buy attack again, I guess, which is what I'm doing now. There we go. Okay. So I don't know why I want to add another sword, or whatever it was. Um. So I don't know what I'm doing here. Actually, I can't remember. So. I think that's the time I put this card in my trunk that has like near 900 attack. Well, I'll put it back in my deck, of course. Okay, I put it in my trunk again. Because I like Witch's Apprentice even better, even though it has a lower attack, because it can power up dark type moves as its effect. That's pretty cool. And I, yeah, of course, they make room for another one of those, which I don't think I use them much really in the Let's Play. Now that I can think about it. Because when I'm doing this post commentary, I've already like already recorded all, or, all of the Let's Play, actually. Because I went out and behind this puppy on this point, hoping that my live commentary would still be in the, be usable. But yeah, that's why I'm doing post commentary basically, huh? Duel with me? Yeah, there's Joey, and then he got, I think he got beat in a duel by that guy here. I still don't remember his name, but he's from the anime. Yeah, this makes me nervous. Um, yeah, okay. Well, it's children card game. Chill out. Just take it. Just relax, man. Relax. I think if we have judgment up for anti, there we go. Nice. Okay, it's my turn. So I got a pretty good hand here. Um, I think I put Wicked Worm Beast out first, if I were to guess. No, put Twin Long Rods, of course. Okay. Oh yeah, I get, uh, I get, uh, well, t Wicked Worm Beast is still more powerful. And that could have taken out, that could have taken, if I summoned, um, Wicked Worm Beast, uh, I could have taken out, um, you know, that one card, you know, and that card would be probably face down in defense mode, because my card has a higher attack. So it's probably best if I put Wicked Worm Beast out first, but that's okay, I end my turn right here. Whenever I want to press A, there we go. It's his turn, so he puts card face down defense. And then it's my turn, I think. Yeah, okay. I get bear traps on there, lay that there. And yeah, I just attack that card. Nice. And my turn there, yeah. Or do I end my turn? Uh, 
Huh. Okay, I thought I, had, I thought I had to do an edit here, but um, I guess not. It just took me a long time to think or something. Even though I had no more moves for that turn, because I, yeah. That Dark Energy would have came in f helpful if I saved Twin Long Rods before I got defeated in Sense of the Graveyard, but that's okay. Um, yeah, then look at one base attacks that card face down. Okay, in defense mode. It's his turn again. Yeah, it's my turn. Okay, puts a card in that. He puts another card in face down defense mode because he know he can't be my wicked one beast. I use this uh, scoundrel's effect here to draw a card from my deck, and I get um, I get another card. I need sacrifice to summon. So yeah, I just ha yeah, wicked one beast takes care of that card, and I just yeah, I can't use uh, scoundrel's attack mode yet because I already used the effect. Okay, bear trap took out that card. I couldn't beat it though. Uh, I get door on, so I think I use its effect right here. Nice. Yeah. Nice, okay. And then we get a f oh man. Okay, Skullinger will disappear. Oh, you think I had a bear trap card, trap card too. So Skullinger will disappear, dang it. Okay. My my turn there. Splits another card face down defense mode. I get Mary Curry to restore 200 life points. And, um, what do I do here? Penguin Soldier. Summon Penguin Soldier, okay. Okay, that's a tie for 900, 900. Okay, let's just take out that card then. Penguin Soldier attack. And the other door on that didn't uh, attack will attack. Yes, there we go. He's down to 4,690 life points. Nice, 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 nice. Take, uh, that takes out my Penguin Soldier because it's 1,170 attack, of course. Uh, I think I'm doing Sacrifice to Summon here for a second. Or do I... Uh, I don't take any chances with it either when I'm getting knocked out, so I distribute both my door ones for uh, Sword Hunter, I guess, because Sword Hunter is apparently good. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Nice. 2010 life points. Like, what is this? 2010? <laughs> Get it? I don't know. Bad joke. Okay, turn end. Okay. I think I summon. Um. Well, never mind. I'll get ahead. Of, I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, it's this turn. He puts the card face down. Defense mode. Up. Summon Lord of D. I believe. Right here. There we go. Nice, nice. And then Lord D takes out that card. And then yeah, that's the end of the duel basically. Because he's out of life points. The point is out of life points. Duel victory. Your deck pass increased by five. 485 domino was obtained. Nice. Si Shining Angel was obtained. I think I for I I I I say, I say like I'm gonna <laughs> you know um add this card to my deck later on, but I don't think I do actually. Nice, okay. Okay, its type is fairy summon is light, costs 161, level four monster, fourteen hundred attack, eight hundred defense, uh an internal fairy that shoots a beam. Dang it, the beam stops foes in their tracks. Okay. I didn't go read the first part of its description, but that's okay. That's all okay. It's all okay. That's all okay. Okay. Nice. And yeah. Took me a long time to press B. Wow, no, it's not again. Not, my deck, not, I'm not good enough. My, my deck's not ready. Or something like that. Another deck edit. Like, I, f am, I get a deck to editing my deck after every duel, which is kind of annoying. I apologize for that. But like, I want to make sure the best cards for like every duel. It's like me preparing, really. Which I can see why it's kind of annoying. I apologize again for that. So... Organized by attack again, I guess. Yeah, but this isn't by attack. I don't think maybe it is I'm looking at the attack numbers like next to the sword, but I don't know While I'm commentating this I'm um drinking a um Shamrock frappe from McDonald's and uh by the time this is uploaded, I don't think they'll have them on the menu actually well uh, if I'm to guess, I'm post commentating this on the 13th of March of 2017, and um, I think it ends in April or something. The Shamrock promotions for the items. Yeah, it's um 10:32 when I'm recording this because it's still in the morning. So my stepfather took me to my local McDonald's and we got breakfast there. I just happened to have some of my uh, Shamrock chocolate chip frappe left over. I forgot to mention this. this there's chocolate chips in them. It seemed like a good idea. Let's try that. And then yeah, we battled. We duel Joey again. I think I put up for another Judge Man up for Ante. Yeah, there we go. Judge Man's like my man for <laughs> putting up for Ante. I don't think I ever even uh, added Judge Man to my deck in this Let's Play. Because I'm thinking and I recorded, I pr finished recording this uh, Let's Play like two days ago. At least when I'm post commentating this. So, yeah. I get Revolve Jam, use this effect, and I put Dark Energy. Just in case I get a Fiend Monster. He puts both his cards in defense once face down though. Okay. It was really good that I start, got with Revival Jam like my first in my first set of, in my first pick of, in my hand basically for the start of the duel. Okay, so I summon uh, that 350 attack monster that does um, 
yeah, that much attack or damage. Um, oh, I tributed it. I tributed one of my revival gems and, uh, and um, my other thing because I think I want to get lost away from another planet. Out. Oh. Wait. Why did I sacrifice both of them if I couldn't? Sa did I mess up there? I think I messed up. Cause why did I sacrifice two monsters to? I may have forgot to summon there. Dang. I didn't, I, I don't remember actually forgetting this when I actually recorded this part and did like commentary on it, but that's okay. Um, he has three cards face down, so Rival Gem can take out one by one, I guess. Also, hopefully he doesn't get too powerful of cards, you know. Oh, no, there's the Red-Eyes Black Dragon. I was afraid of that. Oh my gosh, why did I sacrifice two monsters and not summon a monster? Like, am I that stupid? Am I that stupid? And I, I don't have any... Okay, I used Dark Hole there. Okay, so give us a Black Dragon, which was a good move in my opinion. Because that thing would have totally wiped me out if I wasn't careful. Okay, Bear Trap takes out the other card. Yes, okay. It's my turn. I uh, get uh, twin, of long, twin of Long Rods. I use... Hopefully I remember to use this, uh, Dark Energy on it. Yes, there we go. Sometimes, I think of one duel in this Let's Play on one part. I think I forgot to do that. So, like, I couldn't power it up and... It was already knocked out the next time, time by the next time I, it was my turn again, which kind of sucks. I get a door on, I think it's just, it was just effect right here. He, Joey puts another card face down defense mode, which is pretty cool, I guess. Yeah, and Twin Long Rod just takes out that card. Yay. And then, yeah, I can't attack or d put uh, door on in defense because I already used this effect for that turn. But I get another Warrior D. Joey puts another card face down in defense mode. And I think I can attack with, like, all this. Wait, I summon- I tribute one of my Dwarns for- let me, Please tell me I remember to summon a monster. Wait, why did I tribute a Dwarn if- I think I tributed a Dwarn. I don't- I don't remember what I'm doing here in this duel. Yeah. Why did- oh man, I'm pretty sure I sa sacrificed one of my Dwarns, but I could be wrong. He's down to 1,665 points. It's his turn again. He puts the card face down in defense mode, apparently. And I get Skellinger. Or he will take out a spidey looking thing. Doran will do some attack. And he has 765 points. This should do it. And yeah, I went against Joey Wheeler. Or Joey. <laughs> do a victory. Your deck capacity increased by 5. 602 domino was obtained. Nice. It takes me a long time to press it. There we go. Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon was obtained. I do add this card to my deck, I'll say that. That's all I'm gonna say, really. Um, type is Machine, Summon is Dark, cost is 58. It's, I don't want to count the stars, um, but it has 2800 uh, attack and 2400 uh, 2, defense. A Red Eyes Black Dragon that has been metalized for more power. And hopefully I scroll down. If it's on the screen that long, then I probably read the description and did all the whole read it off and everything. So yeah, it's t it's type has changed from dragon to machine. It's a cool, pretty it's a pretty good card, but like it takes two sacrifices. Someone I think I wasn't even that close. So, so I won't be able to keep winning like this. Uh, did he say like it was super close? Because so, I beat him like with a fair amount of life points still left, and by the time he reached zero life points, I make another card deck edit, I guess. And uh, yeah, I think I try to make room for uh, red eyes black metal dragon because it has like. Some 26 cost, I think. Maybe even less or more. I couldn't read it, I read it that fast, but it's, it's a little deck cost. So, let's see. I, um, what do I put in my, um, trunk then for the time being? Or forever, maybe. <laughs> sandstone? Yeah, I, I don't know. Sandstone has only 1300 attack. So, yeah. It has 14 cost, but, um, I might add that. Yeah, I, I nope, I don't want to add to back to medicine. I make room for, but, but, uh, Black Eyes Metal Dragon that way. And then, yeah, my deck capacity is still okay, and, yeah, that's the end of that. Now this guy was from the anime. I'm gonna put a um, text over right now saying his name. But I have to win this tournament, and I forgot to earn the big and earn the big press money. If anyone gets in my way, don't expect any mercy. That's when you just talk to him. You want to do a fine? We will. You're we always a little pal. I'll have you. Squ I'll have you squealing. Uh, you and me. We'll play for our locator cards. We're pa way past the warm-up stage. Okay. I get, I didn't give you the first part of the dialogue when I talked to him. Oh, guess what I'm putting up for anti prob most likely. Yeah, Judgment, okay. Okay, cool. So, yeah, I think this is the last duel of the part, by the way. I know it's kind of a long part. Um, it's already 34 minutes uh, into the um, me post-commentating this, but, like, of course, it's going to be edited down a little bit at some point, like the beginning and the end. Uh, yeah, um, I got Dark Hole and Pot of Greeds. I used Pot of Greeds to draw two cards. I, I put Dark Hole on my Magic Trap for the side. 
Um, I guess wi Wicked Wine Beast is the best I can do. Well, okay, you put a card in defense mode, face down, yay! He can't- <laughs> Wicked Wine Beast can't be beat then, by that card at least. By that one card. I summon Doran and use its effect to split it into two. Uh, yeah, and I have to- am I turn there? Okay. Cool. Oh no, he has a- he has a Root Water, whatever that is. Just a Root Water, but it's probably a longer name. Okay, so I think I tribute my my other Doran for a stronger card. Yes, there we go. Okay, a uh, morphine. Yeah. Okay, let's put Wicked One Beast. Yeah, there we go. Wicked One Beast beats that. Does a little bit of damage on his life points directly. Yeah, there we go. Morphine. Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. You put a card if you face it on defense mode, and I put I put Twin Long Rods. Wicked One Beast will attack that. Okay. Twin Long Rods will do it. Um, direct damage and morphine. Yeah, it's down to 3,500 life points. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's his turn. He puts another card face down. It's my turn in defense mode. It's my turn. Apparently, it takes a long time for me right here to press A. There we go. Okay, and I think I sacrificed a summon here, or maybe I summon Larvis. Could be wrong. Not discard. Oh, I must have made that mistake. Like sometimes I discard a card on my field and I can't even take it back because I already discarded it. You can discard monsters on the field for trying to stink. So it makes it makes sense if you discard, um, you know, um, you know, um, monsters in your hand. Oh, I, I sacrifice, uh, I think, um, twin long rods and um my other card. Should I forget? Oh, wicked one beast to get dark magician out. Yeah, and that's the end of the duel basically because I win. Oh wait, yeah, okay. Attack with dark magician and silver. Your opponent's off a pencil victory. Your deck must be 30 because he's a major boss apparently. 5,000 dominoes obtained. The legendary fisherman was obtained. I do add this card to my deck later on, but I don't know. It's a pretty good card. It only has 50 cost. It's a warrior type summon as water. It's a level 5 monster. Legendary fisherman. Um, it has 18, 1,850 attack and 1,600 defense. A whale riding man of the sea with a compassionate spirit. Okay. Nice. He cannot be bested by anyone when battling at sea. That's pretty cool. And I like the artwork too. It's like stabbing a fish though, so that's kind of violent. <laughs> my ultimate sea deck. Pa, I'm sorry, Pa. pa I think it's Pa. Way to go, Steven. A little card card was obtained. I think it's a 6 locator card. I check right here. Yeah, that's a 6 locator card. Our duelist level is 358. My name is Steven, of course. I get My deck capacity is 2,460. I get 520,235 uh, domino as my money. So that's pretty cool. I think that's what I say like originally for the live commentators, like explaining all what's on screen right now. And yeah, that's all I do. Oh, uh, uh, another deck edit to add C, uh, the, the legendary fisherman or whatever we just got. Okay. I make like four or five deck edits in this part. I'm sorry. I think it's even more in some parts, but... Well, depending on how many like good cards we get after duels, after winning against opponents and stuff. Yeah. So what do I put in my trunk? I think about Twin Long Rods, but I kind of want to keep them for right now. So I decide against that, I'm pretty sure. Skull and Jewel I do want to keep, because it's a light type monster, and there's a light summon monster, and those are good. Livus, I don't, I think, uh, yeah, I'll put one of my Livuses back in my decks, because I don't need two at this point anymore. So yeah, I'll put, um, that makes room for Legendary Fisherman if I can find it. I think I organized by attack. So it's up a little bit, actually, 1,850 attack, I believe. Apparently I look around and, uh... Okay, I tried to add another Wicked Wind Beast, but my deck passing wouldn't let me. Okay, um, yeah, we have to find that Legendary Fisherman, right? Because that's what we're trying to put on our deck, actually. Please tell me that's what we're doing. Please tell me, please tell me, please tell me. Yeah, okay, please just tell me. Okay, this, okay, there he is. And we add to our deck, awesome, and our deck capacity is good. And yeah, so yeah. This is, um, oh wait, I don't know when I do my outro here, okay? I think I do right here. So this has been my, you get the sick cards for the GBA, uh, for the Game Boy Advance Let's Play part. And next part we'll take on, uh, I think a new area, as we see right here. We go back to Clock Tower, I swear. So yeah, I think this is where we, okay, yeah. Oh wait, that's the wrong way, okay. Uh, don't do my outro yet, but it's close, it's coming up. We go back to the, to you Gizmodo's, um, uh, uh, grandpa shop, and like, I, this activates the cutscene, oh wait. Yeah, but we're learning the Tay Gardner with Tay Gardner and um, Joey Lee. Or Joey and Tay were just taken by the ghouls. I just got back now. It's, uh, I'm getting a very bad feeling about this, Yugi says. And then I think uh, I skipped over what um, you know um, the the grand Yugi's grandpa says. We are the ghouls. We have friends. Your friends Joey and Tay. If you want to value, if you follow the lives, do as we say. Hand over your decks and quit the tournament. I say release them. Your free your friends. We can't simply could do that right away too. Um, just hand over your decks and quit the tournament, but if you refuse to comply with our demands, da da da, your friends will sh shall not find 
something. Dang it. You shall not find no true terror. Oh my gosh. I'm a slow reader. Yeah. So yeah, this has been my you get the secret cards for the Game Boy Advance lots of great part. And next part, we'll take on the ghouls, hopefully, and uh, find Joey and Tay, hopefully. I don't know. So yeah, this has been Johnny Go again. I love you guys again. Goodbye. And I'll see you guys in the next part of my you get the secret cards for the GBA. Let's play. Okay, so before I actually end off the video, I didn't know that like going out of the, tw the uh, shop would trigger this cutscene or whatever. But yeah, Yugi walks out with you and says, Okay, Steven, this is what you will do. If we find any clues, we'll come back here. Okay, let's get going. And I want to just go back to my house and save the game, honestly. So let me do that. Also, um, I want to also sync this part. So hold on, let me just do this live in my commentary, at least, or recording-wise. Okay, not really live live, but like showing you guys okay so let's do this trunk deck trunk status trunk deck trunk status trunk deck trunk status and b that's how i sync it basically and hopefully it's in sync when i actually have this so i'm gonna save my game right here save it awesome and then well yeah we'll just do we can hopefully find joey wheeler and taya gardner in the next part see what's going on yeah you've already heard the intro the outro so yeah that's okay let's just get to the video outro i guess